<laughs> the feels, man. The fucking feels, dude. Guys, what is going on? It is cynical. And finally, finally welcome to Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Can we just can we just please take a moment to embrace this main menu screen. It is a tad bit different to what we're usually used to when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, obviously having the illustration as the main menu. This is a little bit different, we actually have a 3D model of Aqua and all this glitter and shit, but my god dude, does it look fucking juicy. Holy shit guys, it is time to start the 0.2 Birth by Sleep Let's Play, the very first next generation Kingdom Hearts game. Honestly, I, I kind of thought it would have been Kingdom Hearts 3 to be the first, but sort of the point, I am so fucking excited to do this. Um, you know, obviously spending these last two weeks trying not to play the Japanese version and I succeeded, I am so proud of myself. Um, but I, I don't want to blabber on, I just want to jump straight into this, guys. Hopefully you're excited, so let's do this. So we are going to be doing standard mode for this Let's Play. Uh, I, I don't want to be sitting here losing my nut on Proud. Apparently the difficulty spikes are, are pretty intense. So we're going to be doing standard right here. Hell yeah, dude, let's boot it up. Let's do it. I'm so ready. I'm, I'm so... Alright, so right here we got the controls, um, so, look pretty, uh, pretty standard right here, as you guys can see, uh, most of which is looking like the traditional Kingdom Hearts control scheme, so that is pretty cool. Let's do it. Let's jump into this. My boy, I'm ready to see Aqua in all her glory. <laughs> Did you see the detail on that keyblade? That's the fin run. Like, it look, looking a little bit worse for wear, but... Was that a kingdom key? The box? The eye? Okay, heart's racing, dude. Heart is fucking racing. The great battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. As you know, we must take action to fresh. keep the seven pure lights safe. Freaking looking fresh! Look at, this, look at the gleam! We to assemble the seven guardians of light. It is time to return to our world the three Keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago. <sighs> Ventus, Terra, and Aqua must be saved from their sad end, for they have more to achieve. <sighs> Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken, and so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her in the realm of darkness. Oh, could it be? I have so many thoughts as of right now, and I just want to hit the nut button so damn hard, but I'm, I'm trying to sort of contain myself as of right now, dude. Jesus, that world logo intro thingamabob. Oh my god, okay, we are in here. We are freaking in here. So, this tutorial will teach you the basic uh, controls, view tutorial. We're gonna be ruthless tonight, alright? We're gonna be fucking ruthless, and I'm gonna say no to that. For the most part being... Um, this game still kind of uses the traditional Kingdom Hearts controls, so we're gonna kind of just skip the whole control scheme tutorial theme of Bob. But oh my god! Oh my fucking god, dude! This, this looks beautiful! I, I can't even believe that this is fucking Kingdom Hearts. 
Never in my lifetime did I imagine Kingdom Hearts would look this good. Of course, it was bound to happen as, of course, technology is moving forward, but still to the point. This is beautiful. Now, I am actually playing this game on the PlayStation 4 Pro, which means that the frame rate is actually a tad bit better than playing it on the original PlayStation 4. The frame rate actually sticks to around about 60 frames per second if you are actually playing it on the Pro. So, right there, there's a bit of a benefit to playing it on the Pro. We're currently making our way backwards. <laughs> we should probably make our way towards the Castle of Dreams, but my god, I just have to, like... I just have to take in this game in all its beauty. It looks amazing. Alright, oh, the effects, the particle effects, just, oh my god, the glittery goodness. It's glittery fucking goodness. Alright, enough mucking around. Let's make our way to the castle. Now, you guys will see that kind of like a cutscene appeared before, and I sort of skipped it. That was uh, the opening cinematic for 0.2. Most of us have seen it by now, so I decided just to skip it. God damn, dude, the lighting effects, the glow around these flowers. Look at these fucking flowers, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm nutting too hard as of right now. I am nutting as of... Uh, too hard as of right now. I can't even English properly, dude. I am, I'm in shock. I'm in fucking shock, dude. It's beautiful. It really is quite beautiful. Oh, my God. Okay. Show me the goods. Get me into that combat, dude. Dim lips. Why is Cinderella's world here in the darkness? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Next generation shadows, bring it on! All right, so our first kind of little tinker around with the gameplay. Now I have played the demo, but I'm interested to see how it kind of compares to that of the demo. Obviously, this is the full final version. Oh my god, beautiful. That's a lot of XP right there, um, per kill. We have 3,283 XP until our next level. Right, let's get this guy nice. We don't have any magic as of right now, but that's cool. The Keyblade's doing the trick. Old Master Ericus's dildo stick. It's coming in handy, I gotta admit, it's coming in handy. Okay, our first next generation hit. Not good. <laughs> oh, dude. Beautiful. There's Master no Aqua is slick as ever, dude. On and on without end. Still got them moves. In the realm of light, do days or years pass with each step? I know. Something has started to go wrong. I must hurry. Oh, okay. See, the, like cutscene to gameplay transition, dude. Is this a new thing? I'm liking it. It looks super smooth. So this right here is what the menu is looking like. Of course, we got a glimpse of it uh, during the Jump Festa trailer. But looking pretty damn cool. Looking pretty damn cool. Um, I'm interested to see what the story panel has. So we can kind of just go through the story, um, that's nice, and it kind of like categorizes it as well, that's really, really cool. Uh, config, let's take a look at the config, so it looks to be like we have the same sort of options as we would usually have in a Kingdom Hearts game, that's pretty damn cool. We've got EXP gain, uh, gain experience from defeating enemies, this option can be changed if clear data exists in the system file. So, I gather that if we actually finish the game, we have the option to turn EXP off. That's really, really cool. As you guys should probably know, in Critical, for a lot of the Kingdom Hearts games, we had EXP Zero, which was actually an ability. So now this has kind of transitioned into an actual option that we can change in the config menu. So that's pretty damn cool. I'm liking that. I swear that was the controller. <laughs> I guess I know which way I'm going. Oof. I mean, that looks a bit dangerous, don't you think? Okay, alright, so we got the shiny little orb thingy. Uh, not orb, glitter, glitter thing. I can't even think straight, dude. That's, that's, 
like how blown away I am as of right now. We got the shiny little glitter things, I don't know. This indicates that, of course, we can do some parkour. And that flow motion grind, gotta love it. Beautiful. We have a chest right now, first next generation chest, and we get a potion to be expected. Oh my god, dude, look at this. What? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm freaking out over every little thing. I'm surprised I haven't been like, dude, look at that rock on the ground. Look how amazing that looks. <laughs> Alright, making our way forward. I haven't felt my heart stir in a long time. Something about this place. Uh, more shadows. All right. It looks like worse things are stirring. Let's do it, dude. I love those cutscene to gameplay transitions. They are so smooth. Jesus. Oh. All right. Let's try and keep our distance. Keep the damage to a minimum. All right. Level 51. Strength up. So we start at level 51. Interesting. I mean, we start at level 50, but of course we just got 51. Nice. Alright. In a way, I suppose that kind of makes sense because, like, sort of by the end of Birth by Sleep, you're around, like, level 40 to 50 anyway, so, in a sense, that kind of makes sense. Alright, nice. Make your way to the Castle of Dreams. Gladly. Glad. I mean, you know, it looks like a dangerous place, but still to the point, we gotta do it. Alright, trophy earned, Wandering in the Dark. Nice. It's always good to get trophies. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in life to lose. Ooh, the lip syncing. On point. Flashback flails. Flash, <laughs> flashback flails. Nice, nice. Good, good meme there. Flashback feels, dude. Here too, everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life, trees and flowers. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew was gone. The grief in this place is too much to fathom. <sighs> That's enough. I can't keep on wishing for the past. Exactly, go. We gotta keep moving forward. We gotta make a difference, all right? We can't we can't stand there and sob to ourselves. We gotta make the difference. All right, so we got a little bit of an explanation here on the objective system, which is a system that I'm super excited for. So, fulfill specific conditions to complete objectives, and you will be rewarded with clothing and accessories for Arqua's wardrobe. So that's pretty damn cool. As we do these different little missions and stuff, we're gonna be getting rewarded for customizable sort of items to then put on Arqua. And I'm super excited to see what this system is kind of like. Um, I gather, okay, so yeah, we've got the objectives tab now in the main menu, so basically right here, defeat the shadows, defeat 30 shadows, we have test of strength, raise aqua to level 60, not too bad, 
Um, defeat five Heartless using Counter Blast. So we're gonna try, like, as we make our way through 0 0.2, I'm gonna try to obviously complete uh, the different objectives that we can. I'm not going to be aiming for full objective uh, completion in this Let's Play, but uh, if we can, of course, like complete a few objectives, that would be really, really cool. And uh, we also have the Wardrobe tab right here, which of course is the um, tab in which we customize Aqua. We have a different pattern right here, Plain, and then Default. Alright, let's look at Okay, so we can actually color plane, um... Alright, I, I think it'd be better to... Let's, let's do the green. I know that looks a little bit different, but here at TGJ, we're all about that green. So, let's go with the green. It looks a bit different on her, just because of the fact that, you know, I'm so used to seeing her with the blue, especially with the blue hair, the blue eyes. Kinda makes sense. Um, oh, we, we didn't... Good one. G you're making a really good impression on yourself right now, Cynical. Alright, there we go. Nice. Nice. Um, okay. Let's keep pushing forward. So we can actually destroy these barrels. Die, barrels. I, I don't really want to be the barrel murderer, so let's kind of refrain from doing that, unless we actually need some HP. Uh, we're also going to keep our eye out for any sort of um, treasure chests we obviously come across as well. But damn, dude, these lighting effects and everything, they just look absolutely amazing. Okay, so it's good. The customizing thing is, it, it doesn't appear in cutscenes, which is one thing I'm kind of happy about, honestly. I think that's cool. I think that the customizable items that you put on Aqua, not appearing in cutscenes, I'm okay with that. collapsed when the clock advanced. If only I made it in time. But there is no time in this place, only the clock. That's it. <laughs> I'm too funny, I know. Alright, so that means we've got some gears to find, and we've finally unlocked magic, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be using uh, Blizzaga a lot throughout this um, throughout this Let's Play because of the fact that I absolutely loved using it throughout the demo. The really cool thing about uh, Blizzaga is that if we use it, we'll have this like ice trail leading behind it, which kind of just disappears pretty damn fast. So I think, all right, we got to we got to jump on it pretty damn fast. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool thing about Blizzaga, and on top of that, it actually freezes enemies as well, so pretty goddamn helpful. We also have a map, and it looks like they're using the same map icon. Super cool, alright. Okay, I just used K Kuraga out of nowhere. Nice. <laughs> alright, our MP is on cooldown. So, uh, same MP costs as, say, Kingdom Hearts 2, so most of us, obviously, are used to that, so that's interesting. This man just chilling. And, holy shit, okay, keep, keep the Star Wars lasers to yourself, my boy. This is that thumb dog do. Nice. However, guys, with that all being said, this is going to conclude part one of Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. I am so damn excited to, of course, continue with this Let's Play series. So, please, if you guys would, drop a like on this video to show you guys support. In the next part, we're going to be going through the destroyed town of the Castle of Dreams. And, of course, we're going to be tracking down those games. However, guys, until next time, I'll catch you dudes later.
Peace.